Gosh, this warehouse is bigger than it looks from the outside. Yeah, the, I mean, we've got the vaults, obviously, that you've looked at. Um, we're actually over three levels. But within each level, we've got two to three different cells. Yeah. So I actually hold quite a lot of cast, Charlie. Is it my imagination, or is it slightly warmer up here? I think you're just getting a bit unfit now, Charlie. So. <laughs> no, it is. You, as we go higher, we're probably getting a couple of degrees warmer, uh, but nothing much. I noticed that the floors so far have held mainly butts and puncheons. Yeah. Is that the same up here? No, up here we've got uh, butts and hogsheads. Ah, yes, I see. Uh, if you notice, the last two levels were concrete floors. Um, here we've got a wooden floor, so we've got to be really careful about weight distribution. This is a remade hogshead. Yeah. So this is the, the bourbon barrel that's been expanded by 25 to 30%. And if you see at the end there, new fresh oak ends. Yeah. So, so the, the, extra, the extra staves are also from bourbon barrels? They're from bourbon mm -hmm. barrels. So the, the main body of the cask is bourbon and then you've got the added influence of fresh oak ends. So you get a slightly different flavour than an out-and-out -out bourbon barrel. And of course it is a hogshead, so it's 250 litres versus 190 litres. Do you reckon you get a... a I mean, what, in terms of maturation, do you get a better style of maturation from a hogshead? I think all blenders have their own... They have their own preferences, Charlie. My preference out of all maturation casts is the remade hogshead. Um, I find that when you're producing products, sort of 12, 15, 17, 18 year old, I just like the maturation style. It's the combination of the, the, That's great. the straight bourbon, but just that extra tannin and wood flavor coming off the new oak ends. Mm. And in terms of colour, golden, yep, American oak. Slightly darker than I think what you would get from a bourbon barrel. So you're getting the influence of the tannin from the fresh wood. And the nose, you're just getting that. It's very slightly oaky. Oaky, yep. yeah. I was going to say wood there, but yeah, oaky. And not so much, not so sweet, I wouldn't have said, no. as the um, a barrel. And you can see there, you know, the smokiness mm -hmm. is just slightly reducing from the bourbon bar. So the, the, these oak flavours are just slightly now starting to change the smokiness. And in yeah. five, six years' time, you'll get the smokiness dissipating into a sort of fruitiness, which is synonymous with the older Beaumores. And the mouth is very sweet and then smoky at the end. Mm, yeah. So it's retained its original character. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's the bourbon style, Charlie. Excellent. What next? Back downstairs with the sample. Right. <laughs>